or YouTube? Stars shining bright above me. I breathe and seem to whisper. So, um, so today's video, I'm gonna be talking about self care versus being a selfish person. And I'm talking with experience because some people don't get the difference and they think that always putting yourself first, which by the way is a good thing, I agree, like you have to put yourself first in certain situations so people don't take advantage of you and it's okay to like prioritize yourself and your mental health and stuff, but when you're constantly doing that, but when you're constantly putting yourself first without ever willing to put an effort into maintaining a relationship with somebody, be it friendship or a romantic relationship. And then you cry about why you're lonely. If you feel attacked by this video, then you are exactly the kind of person that I'm talking about. Like that also goes with like judging people. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna be making some hibiscus tea, which is something that I've been obsessed with recently. Like I love hibiscus tea. I Anyways, that also goes with like judging people. You know when you see someone on your Instagram and you're just like, Oh my god, I hate her eyeshadow. Oh my god, I hate her foundation. Oh my god, I hate her shoes. When you catch yourself saying those things, just just stop and be like, you know what? She probably likes the way she looks and that makes her feel confident and good about herself. That's what matters. So why do you have to freaking, get, like, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it, period. Someone said that. I, I don't know who it was. I think it was Oprah. Um, I don't know. It just sounds like an Oprah thing. I don't really know what Oprah says, but I'm pretty sure she says nice things and... Let's just say Oprah said that. It wasn't me. I got my pan right here. Oh, God. Oh, well. Gonna have a water stain on my hoodie for the rest of this video. Moving on. Um, so, yeah, when you have these thoughts about someone where you're judging someone like that, just catch yourself and be like, no, it's fine because she feels confident. She feels good about this. That's all that matters. Because it's the second thought that counts. Because, like, as, when you're born, you're wired to think a certain way. You're wired to, like, judge people. So if you can catch yourself doing that and change that thought process, that shows how strong you are. That shows your ability to be different. To be nice. Just stop. Stop looking through your Instagram. Oh my god, I hate what she's doing. Oh my god, I hate her clothes. Oh my god, what is she wearing? Stop. Stop. I'm not saying that I've never done this. I've done this and immediately I would catch myself and I was just like, no, no, no. This is not how it should be. No. She feels confident. She feels good about herself and that's what matters. I used to be that kind of person where who would like who would say these things about someone and I would just pray. I'm not even kidding. I would pray after that. I would just be like, God, please forgive me. I didn't enjoy that person like that. And then college happened and I was around people that constantly judge other people and they're just like quick to judge. And then I just started like becoming like that, which I hated it. I And it took me a while to realize what was happening to myself and I wasn't being myself. So I, I had to change and I had to let go of a lot of friendships. But moving on, I just want to let you all know, like, let's let's both start doing that. Let's both stop judging people. Let's both just, if there's nothing nice to say, just don't say it. If you don't think that whatever you're saying is going to make the other person happy, just don't say it. Unless, like, the other person's being an asshole and you kind of have to say it. Moving on. I'm sorry, I'm having, like, jelly right now. Being selfless isn't a thing anymore. And I get that the world has just become like that, where you kind of have to put yourself first and people get hurt a lot and stuff. But it's going too far. Putting someone you care about first in certain situations shouldn't be frowned upon. But please don't ever be that person that only ever does something at your own convenience. That just shows that you're not, you don't think anyone else is worth the effort. Stepping out of your comfort zone for someone you care about is okay. In fact, it's the nicest thing you can do. Just do something with someone just to make them happy. You know, as long as it doesn't cause you any serious harm, just who cares? Like, do things with good intentions. I'm just gonna put my water on here. Moving on. Like, I don't get people who think it's a freaking sin to do something that requires a little effort for someone that you care about. It's not a sin. In fact, it's it's something nice that you're doing. Putting in an effort for another person is also important because otherwise... I'm sorry. But you're gonna find it really hard to maintain relationships, be it friendships or romantic relationships. It's gonna be hard because if you're gonna treat other people like some sort of competition, other people are gonna treat you like a competition. That's, that's how it works. <sighs> By the way, this is, oh yeah, this is like, um, 
hibiscus, dried hibiscus flower. So I just take like that much of it and then I put it in my tea and it turns pink and it tastes so freaking good. And some sugar. Moving on. But yeah, that's just, I, I, I can't stand people like that. And I'm not talking about like the mental health aspect of it. When it comes to mental health, I 100% agree that please do put yourself first, please do get some help. But if you're gonna constantly treat other people like you're somehow better than them and you look at you look around you and you just always see that you're better than everyone around you maybe that maybe just consider the possibility that that may not be true maybe you fail to see that there might be a problem within yourself because there are 7 billion people in the world I don't think all of them are trash if you think all of them are trash then maybe there's something wrong with the way you're perceiving the world Anyways, I'm done with my tea, so I'm just gonna pour it into my cup right here. It's so pink, I don't know if you can see it, it's really pink. Moving on. You don't have to constantly put yourself first at the expense of another person's happiness. You need to step out of your comfort zone once in a while. You need to let people know that, hey, I'm putting in an effort because I really like what we have, or like, I really like our friendship, or I really like our relationship, so. Why is that so hard? Like, what has, what has the world come to? I mean, I get that the place, the world is a shitty place, but why do you have to be a shitty person? Be nice when everyone around you is trash. If, I mean, I don't think everyone around me is trash. I don't think the world is that shitty either. If you're gonna constantly look for negative things, or like, if you're constantly gonna have that negative thought, there's no space for you to ever like look at the good things that come with what, wherever you are. You're never ever going to find any sort of positivity if you're only looking for negativity. And please don't ever surround yourself with people like that. People who can only see ne the negativity in things. People who can only see the bad in people. Please cut those kind of people off because it's gonna be really hard to be happy around that people. Look for the positive things and try to embrace the little things, even if they're the littlest of things, dude. Like, just try it and embrace the tiny good things because the more you do that, the more you realize that they're not as tiny as they seem. You're fat. Sam? You're Sam? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just went on a whole rant. I don't, I don't know why. And I made some hibiscus tea. So this is like a top being selfish and make yourself some hibiscus the viscous tea kind of video so yeah thanks for watching like comment subscribe all of that follow my instagram it's gonna be right here um yeah bye